If these features are important to you, you do not want to start with Zoom webinar because you're going to be like me. The reason why I'm recording this video is I wasted so many hours trying to figure out, trying to make Zoom webinar on demand do what it's not supposed to do. Hey guys, it's Faye from Face World Media. And in this video, I want to save you some time if you're evaluating whether you should use Zoom webinar on demand as an option or not. So if you're new to on demand content, it's exactly what it sounds. You want people to be able to register for the webinar, watch it and have the ability to watch the replay. That could be very beneficial for small or large businesses because not everyone is able to join the live event. So you might as well repurpose your content so more people can sign up for it for free, or maybe you can even charge a fee or reuse it as part of your training programs. But Zoom webinar on demand as of today is not capable of delivering all the features compared to traditional webinar on demand platforms such as Demio or Webinar Jam, among many other options. So first of all, let's go over the features that are quite good with Zoom webinar on demand. If these features check off all the boxes that you need, you are all set to go. Who doesn't want to use the same subscription and be able to do everything? You're already probably already familiar with Zoom. So the first feature that is pretty strong with Zoom Webinar On Demand is this survey feature. You're able to pre-design the survey as you're setting up Zoom Webinar. As soon as the webinar ends, it automatically will send the survey to all its attendees, like before they leave the webinar. That is essential. So if you're new to digital marketing, I'm telling you that when you catch people right there, the engagement rate, which means people who will be participating in the survey will be much, much higher. Another obvious reason to consider Zoom webinar on demand is that it takes one click, you check one box literally, to enable an existing or a regular webinar and make it into this on demand content. It's so straightforward. Next is the powerful reporting feature. The reports can be pretty powerful. It captures who register for the event, when they logged in. Zoom webinar on demand also comes with features such as automatically recording the webinar plus automatically approving people as soon as they register for the webinar. But you can also opt in to manually approve people. You may be wondering why would you need that? Well, you may have to pre-qualify people to make sure they're the right ones for the webinar. Maybe this is more of a, an exclusive offer where you have to charge a fee and maybe your organization prefers to charge the fees via a different platform instead of via Zoom. Enough said, what are some of the areas where Zoom webinar on demand really falls short? And I don't know whether these features will be implemented anytime soon. If these features are important to you, you do not want to start with Zoom webinar because you're going to be like me. The reason why I'm recording this video is I wasted so many hours trying to figure out, trying to make Zoom webinar on demand do what it's not supposed to do. Number one is if you're an educator, if you're an institution, you want to be able to measure people's or in this case, students or attendees engagement rate, or maybe during the video, you don't want them to be able to fast forward. You know, maybe this is a course credit where students are required to watch all of the video or 80% of the video or half of the video, you are unable to measure that inside of Zoom webinar on demand. You want to use a platform such as Demio. By the way, please consider watching this video all the way to the end because I'll be able to demo Demio, a great alternative to what Zoom webinar on demand is incapable of. I just want to show you real quick how I use it so easily to do the things I needed to do. The last thing that Zoom Webinar On Demand is unable to do is for you to upload a pre-recorded video or pre-edited video. You basically have to use Zoom Webinar as is intended to be used, which is for you to host the live event and then you know, broadcast it as an on-demand content. So as promised, let me go ahead and show you what it's like inside Demio. I find Demio to be very user friendly. I'm literally using it for the first time and recording the process just to show you how quickly I was able to find different pieces and navigations within the page. And it's designed for not very technical people and for you to set things up very easily. Um, so here, as you can see, uh, what you can do is under schedule, let's see, under, I believe events, you can do something called automate it and you can create a new event. So pre-recorded sessions right here, test um, with Demio and let me hit continue. And you can schedule the event uh, on demand has been enabled. Um, 
you can hear, you know, it will be disabled registration will be. So I'm going to upload a random video. Actually, this is probably going to be the smallest video. So let me just use this totally random one right here. And let's see, how do I minimize all the registration, share activity? So this should give you all the uh, different tracking. You can even add different admins, supercharge it. Your video is processing, click done, uh, processing at the moment. And then from here, you can just copy it. And this is the event, really super simple. You can embed this on your website. For instance, people can just do that pretty easily. So let me go ahead and, and show you what the registration page looks like. So I'm going to say, Faye, hello at Face World. Keep in touch with me, join. I'm pretty sure you can integrate like payment options there as well, but you kind of, you don't care, like you said. So here the video is still, obviously still processing. It's a little blurry right now. Um, and let's see, you see, I'm unable to fast forward or backward here, right? Like, uh, you can, I believe you can enable disable chat if you want to, but I can't, you know, I'm just going to watch it for a second here. And then when I'm done, okay. Thank you for joining. Thank you for attending. And so there's no like survey or anything. I'm not going to bother be bothered with that just yet. So let me go ahead and click on activity. So here you have, uh, attendance, a hundred percent registers registration summary. You get to see the people you see attendance in minute uh, in seconds in this case. So that's pretty cool. Um, so this honestly could be, if you're really lo looking for people to consume the confirmation, you know, information without jumping around, this is it. And let's see customization. I would say the experience is really quite well done. So I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, please give us a thumbs up, share it with a colleague. It helps us tremendously to spread the word. I also encourage you to check out our Zoom guide. We put a lot of heart and souls <laughs> into creating the, uh, the platform. The ultimate Zoom guide for hosts and moderators are designed for folks just like yourself who you know conduct a lot of webinars or webinar on demand using Zoom. And you get to watch all of my YouTube videos without any ads, any call to actions, no sponsorships. And there is more of what I release only on that platform and you'll never get to see on YouTube. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you next time. Bye.